In reminiscing about her first visit to Aspen in the winter of 1939, Elizabeth Pepka recalls the 12-hour train ride to reach her destination. She speaks of the view that awaited the end of her five-hour herringbone ski climb up Aspen Mountain. Elizabeth sensed a world silent, undisturbed, uninhabited, and was captivated. She felt determined to share this splendor and its possibilities for revitalization with her husband Walter. Walter Pepke was the founder of the Container Corporation of America in Chicago. As Robert O. Anderson, the president of the Aspen Institute for Humanistic Studies, expressed so eloquently upon Walter's death in 1960, Mr. Pepke, during his lifetime, changed the world in which he lived. He added to its prosperity, its opportunity, its beauty, and its wisdom. Elizabeth returned to Aspen with Walter in 1945 and began the transformation of her first Aspen Victorian, the Hotel Jerome, and of the town itself. She assisted her husband in identifying the components necessary for the growth and development of a well-rounded community, emphasizing quality of life. Elizabeth remains a beautiful, opinionated, formidable presence in the community that takes pride in her contribution to its rebirth. In reflecting on those early years, Elizabeth says, Those were the days of hope. Everything lay before you, and everything was exciting. Even the disappointments were hair-raising, but they were exciting. Walter has come to be numbered among the men who have shaped destiny. His imagination and energy established the Goethe Bicentennial Convocation in 1949, which was the foundation for the Aspen Music Festival, as well as the Aspen Institute for Humanistic Studies and the International Design Conference. It was Walter's enthusiasm and his ceaseless efforts that transformed Aspen. Aspen is Walter and Elizabeth Pepke's legacy to the world.